Okay, what I am about to do now is show you how to do a GHD curl in somebody else's hair. Um, I say in somebody else's hair is because obviously I'm doing it on uh, a head. I will do a separate video showing you how to do it on your own hair because obviously your hand will be positioned differently when you're doing it on your own hair. So let's start here. Okay, so first of all, I'm using GHDs, uh, like the original GHDs. These are the medium iron. So there is another one, iron that's bigger and another one that's smaller, which is why this is the medium iron. <laughs> Uh, I have these ones, these are the only ones that I have because I think you can achieve, you can achieve a big curl or a small curl or a medium curl with these and it just depends very much on the section and, and the technique that you use to curl it. Um, although I am using GHD, I will be honest, I've used straightening irons from £20 and you can still get a really good curl. I think... I think people focus so much on the tools and the products when actually technique with everything is so more important. You can still, even if I put no products on here and use a, a, the cheapest pair of straighteners, it's, you need to focus on the technique rather than the tools. However, these are really good. Um, okay, so I've already started here. Um, and what are my tips? Okay, so first of all, what is good about using the medium is that this is the perfect uh, width for sectioning. So when you're taking your sections across here, you take a section about as wide as the iron, and when you're taking your sections across, take them about as wide as the iron. Um, it doesn't matter, give or take, like don't get stressed about section size, but that's a good guide. Okay, so I'm taking the section here, um, so I'm going to curl. What I'm doing also is I'm doing all of the curls going one way. I will show you a different different ways and different techniques in different videos. But for the purpose of this video, because what I'm going to do afterwards is I'm going to brush it out and show you how to sort of make it more into a wave. And this happens by doing all the curls the same way. So you get your hair like this. And you hold your, in, in fact, if you are watching this now, which you will be, I don't know why I said that, because otherwise you wouldn't be able to hear me. Get your irons and just get them in your hand so you can see how I'm holding the iron. So I have literally got them in a fist like that next to the hair. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt, tip my hand to the side, put it in the hair, and then I'm going to curl the hair backwards. So then I grab the bottom, you see, of the, um, iron and I'm sliding it down so using two hands I'm sliding the iron down just make sure you've still got this bit of hair here if the hair, if all of a sudden especially when you've got longer hair it sort of feels like you can't slide it down then what I do is just open close open close open close and the postman's just about to post something open close open close down like this Oh, look at that. What a beauty. Okay, so let's go again. Take your section as wide as the irons. You've got your irons in your hand like this. You go like this to the side, put the iron in, and then you're coming away from the head. Turning it, turning it, turning it. Turning it, turning it. I'm spinning around. Right, turn it, turn it, turn it. Again, if you can't if it won't slide through, just open, close, open, close, just a tiny bit, just so that you can um, slip up the hair through. There we go, okay. Right, next section. Okay, it's as wide as here. Okay, iron in your hand, to the side on the head, and then away from the head. Oh, away from the head. I'm trying to do this without going in front of the, the camera. Um, turn it around, turn it around. I honestly, honestly urge everybody to get one of these heads because like, if, just practicing is just key to this. 
And I think even if you're trying to learn how to do it on yourself, by starting, by practicing on a head, you just get used to the technique. I mean, you could literally have this on your coffee table, in your front room, have the telly on, be watching telly, and just practicing your curling technique. Okay. Right, okay, as deep or wide or <laughs> whatever it is, um, as the iron. With all your sectioning, whatever you do, with your cutting, blow drying, to be honest, that's a good size section. All sections should be about that size. Also, um, always in hairdressing, and not just in hairdressing, I think when you're doing anything, the sections you take, if they're clean and tidy and straight and neat, you will just naturally get a better better result. It's like, you know, things like that, even from the psychological point of view, when you're working with clean lines and you're working with um, clean, like, shapes and sizes, you, you just work better. It's like, it's like trying to do some work in a room that's full of mess. That's what it's like not um, doing hair with bad sectioning. Okay, so here, we've got our piece of hair there. We've got our irons here, we're gonna go in, because we're gonna do it all the same way. So they're going backwards like this. Round. So you can see there's a bit of fringe there, but that's that's cool. If that fringe bit will fall out before the rest. Don't panic about it. Keep turning it, turning it, turning it, turning it, turning it. Oh, I've just remembered I had a Really strange dream last night. I can't remember what it was now. Last night I had the strangest dream. Okay, section, uh, irons in the hair. This is what I mean, get one of these, put it on the coffee table and you will just get in a flow. Or just get your daughter or your wife or whoever to kneel down in front of you while she's watching TV and just do it on her hair. Because honestly, you know, with anything like this, it's just like getting used to, to using the tool and not being scared of it. Okay. You know, once you nail this, you can be doing your friend's hair. Um, you know, you may not be a qualified hairdresser, but you are a skilled hairdresser. You can dress hair, which means, you know, you, you could be doing your friend's hair for parties, for weddings. Why the hell not? You don't need to be qualified to do people's hair. Okay. Right, one of the things that people do wrong sometimes, which I'll show you in a second, is um, if you turn it the wrong way, what can happen is you can get a ridge, and I will show you what I mean by that. So we get our section here. Okay, so if you go against the iron, so, so you put your, you've got your, ha your hand, your iron, so you put it in here. So now if I went backwards like that, you see straight away what you're doing is you're going against the iron. So you're pushing it back, which will then give you like a, a, a crinkle, a, cr a kink, a kink, a bend, a sharp corner, <laughs> an angle, not a smooth curl. So you don't go back against it. You come in round. Always round, always smooth and round. <laughs> okay, right, let's get these bits done and then I will show you what happens. Okay. So I've now just gone round and finished curling all of the hair. And as you can see, all the way round, this side's coming back, the other side is coming back and it just sort of finishes coming back to the middle. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna brush this out to get kind of a wave. So I'm gonna use some Elnet hairspray 
This is a stronghold. I usually get the stronghold because it, with the Earl Net hairsprays, even the stronghold, they're very fine. So you, they're plausible, if that's the right word, so that you can you, you can spray it and brush it. And some um, some hairsprays can make the hair really tacky, but I've never ever had that problem with Earl Net. Here we go. But all of them, like again, I wouldn't worry too much about which one you're getting, whatever one they've got on offer on the shelf. Okay, so I'm gonna first of all just do a good spray. And then we're gonna get an Denman brush. Uh, mine's a bit battered, so this is an Isness brush. And basically these brushes are really good to have. Um, they are like hair up brushes or they're good for like manipulating the hair or if you're putting your hair in a ponytail. Because of the way that the bristles are, it, they, they just, they're just good for smoothing your hair out. Okay, so we're gonna get, I, I like to have a bit of control over my, my brush, so I'll hold it like that. And then we're gonna put it at the top and then we're gonna brush the hair down. Okay, now don't be scared to do this because you've spent all that time. There is, a, there is a part of you that will feel scared to brush it out, but we're going for a wave, okay? So we're just gonna brush it down. And you can already see that wave starting to come in. Okay, so we've got the fringe bit here. So I'm gonna brush this back. This is like one of my favorite looks because it's actually a really easy look to achieve, but it, it's, it has like a strong impact. Okay, so we spray and we comb. Oh, I mean, look. I don't think you'll ever, ever meet another person that gets as excited about hair as I do. Okay, brush. Oh, look. So you can just brush a little bit of spray. So you, obviously with different lengths of hair, the result can be really different. Um, so you see, I get asked a lot about Holly Willoughby's hair. So she's got this kind of wave at the side. This is it, this is how she's done it. And you see how tight I done the curls and this is to just make a loose wave. Oh look, I mean, honestly, it's like, and then you can just look, spray that into, I mean, behave, <laughs> behave. Okay, let's come round here and do this bit. I mean, this is worth eight ninety nine. Just this one thing. It's ridiculous what I'm showing you here. There are hairdressers that can't even do this. So it's a, it's like the art of manipulating the hair into the where you want it to go. So it's like the idea is to sort of brush it to get the get the um, waves to sit in the same. You want them to dance in the same tune. Singing off the same song sheet. Oh, there's someone at the door. Am I getting there? And also what would be good is um, the Bedhead Shine Spray. It's a head rush. I don't actually have any here right now, but a, a layer of that over this would just give that a real gloss. So what I would do then, if I was going out, I would literally just leave it, hairspray it almost to like stiff like that. And then just before you go out, then brush it again to sort of make it have a bit more movement. Okay, so also what you can then do is ruffle up. Look at that, that looks so nice. So once you've brushed it and you've let it set, just before you go out, just shake it up a bit. And then you just get that real nice wave. I mean, that looks lush. 